For these uh, double questions, I really like to kind of go in the order that makes most sense based on the question. So here, they're saying how would the, the text two people respond to the conventional wisdom presented in text one. So I kind of want to know what text two thinks first before I start thinking about text one. Maybe that's not the best strategy, but it makes sense to me. Let's see if it works here. So what is text two all about? In a 2021 book, uh, anthropologist David Graeber and archaeologist David Wengro maintain that humans have always been socially flexible, always been flexible, alternately forming systems based on hierarchy and collective ones with decentralized leadership. The authors point to evidence that as far back as 50,000 years ago, some hunter-gatherers adjusted their social structure, adjusted their social structures seasonally, at times dispersing in small groups, but also assembling into communities that included uh, esteemed individuals. So basically, they're just saying that there's, uh, there's flexibility. Uh, they, they do both, or they do all, right? They do different things. Okay. So what is now passage one saying specifically conventional wisdom is the piece that we care about. So luckily, it starts things off. Conventional wisdom long held that human social systems evolved in stages, beginning with hunter-gatherers forming small bands of members with roughly equal status. The shift to agriculture about 12,000 years ago sparked population growth that led to the emergence of groups with hierarchical, hierarchical structures, associations of clans first, then chieftains, and finally bureaucratic states. So the conventional wisdom is that there is a set order, right? They evolved in stages, uh, first this, then that, finally this, right? So I don't even care what the stages are. I just see that the difference is what they're saying about the different systems. The, the text one is saying that there's a set order. Text two is saying, no, they just did different things. So it seems like if my uh, dumb summary is correct, I'll put it down here. My dumb summary is that text two would respond by saying you're wrong. The wisdom is wrong. Let's see if there's a choice that kind of matches with that. A, by conceding the importance of hierarchical systems, but asserting the greater significance of decentralized collective societies. Uh, this barely makes sense to me, but it seems to be ranking the different things, right? Greater significance. It doesn't seem like they're ranking things in the, in the second text. They're just saying they did them all. So this seems just off. B, by disputing the idea that developments in social structures have followed a linear progression through distinct stages. Well, even if you don't understand most of that choice, you should understand the word dispute, right? Dispute is another fancy way of saying you're wrong. So just that is enough to maybe keep this in here. Um, C, by acknowledging that hierarchical roles likely weren't a part of social systems before the rise of agriculture. Again, this is getting very specific about like the different orders of things and text two is saying there is no order. Everything happened at once. They were doing everything. So before, there's no time. I, I don't, the time piece is, is bothering me here. Uh, D, by challenging, okay, that sounds good. By challenging the assumption that groupings of hunter-gatherers were among the earliest forms of social structure. Well, again, we see this, this clue word, earliest, we're again getting into time. Now, text one was all about there being a time, a, an order of things, but text two is saying, no, there's no set order, the time is irrelevant. So the fact that C and D both bring that in is not a good sign. B is definitely gonna be the answer. They're, they're disputing the time, right? So maybe time is still part of this, but they're specifically saying in the choice that the time doesn't matter. So they're disputing the, the idea that there are even stages. Um, notice that part of this you could at least have gotten even if you only understood the idea of like do they agree or disagree and that that's very common when we have these double passages it's just like understanding whether the two are going to go with, together or go against each other can help you with certain words like conceding which means agreeing uh, disputing which obviously means disagreeing and acknowledging is agreeing challenging is disagreeing so we see that kind of similarity as well between different choices that might help us at least get down to two so there's a lot of strategies when you've got two texts but five the one that works for you no matter what though you're trying to kind of get as little information in your brain as possible so you can really focus on what matters you don't want to memorize every little piece of this you just don't have the time or the brain power to do it